Right now, there are homeless people living in a tent city just blocks away from downtown Detroit. They say they have nowhere else to go, and they're hoping the city's resurgence will trickle down to them. 7 Action News reporter Jennifer Bisram has one man's story of survival. This, a makeshift community in downtown Detroit, seven tents total. Inside each one, at least one person braving the cold night after night, calling this their home. And their hope so strong for a better future, they call it Tinseltown. Nobody wanted to be down, so we gave the Lord a nickname. Tents surrounded by hay, lawn chairs, grills, food, and clothes take up a small part of this empty space between Jefferson and Larned, just east of Rivard in downtown Detroit. Everybody helps in a little bit. Whenever they get something, we share. Nearly a dozen people now living here, including 51 year old Stefan Jones. Couldn't pay the bill, so, you know, evidently had to move out the place. He lost his job six months ago and has been living inside of this tent with his girlfriend since. Being out here and having your, your significant other with you is, is hard. But this is not something I want to do. This is something basically that I'm basically forced to do. He says he tries to get work during the day, mainly parking cars for cash, while looking for a full-time job in the construction business where he has more than 15 years' experience. I can build you a whole backyard, you know what I'm saying, you know, outside construction, uh, drywall, anything that's deal with buildings, you know what I'm saying, I can do. I'm trained at it. He says the people who live in this tent city go to a nearby church to shower, warm up, and eat once a day. They spend their nights sleeping in the tent and get a little help from passersby who they are thankful for. It's cold, but, you know, the, out here people bring us candles, flashlights. Stefan says while it is rough, he knows it could be a lot worse. I look at it like this. If God wakes me up every morning, you know what I'm saying? If he can wake me up every morning, then I'm saying, why should I wake up and be sad? And for information on how you can help, go to our website, WXYZ.com. In downtown Detroit, Jennifer Bisram, 7 Action News.